Ilyo represents the union of the heart and body, which is the mind and matter respectively. The progress line of Ilyo Pumse is the character Ma, which means fill fat and is composed of moves to cultivate isometry and equilibrium. We will now take a look at the key moves of Ilyo Pumse. Ilyo Pumse consists of four key moves, namely Wesante Yopchagi, Okkoro Olgulmaki, and Tuson Pyo Pitoro Chapa Tangigi. Duyo Yopchagi, and Ogum Sogi. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Ilyo Pumse. Wesante Yopchagi is a technique to cross the two arms in front of the chest and slowly perform Anparmok Pakatmaki and Mejumok Pakatjigi simultaneously. Both hands and arms must move in unison. Okoro Orgumaki is a move to raise the arms from the right back then block by diagonally crossing both arms. Both wrists should cross in front of the forehead. When blocking, place your left hand outside and use your right hand to cross your wrists diagonally. Open the hands and twist your right hand inward, your left hand outward so the bottom part of your wrists touch each other, to pull an opponent's wrist and thrust or twist their wrist. When performing Tuyo Yopchagi, stamp the ground with the front kicking leg, then pull the opposite knee upward to jump and kick sideways. Pull the back of the opposite foot blade on the inside of the kicking leg, then bend your knee and land after the kick. Be careful not to perform the kick after the body has already twisted. Ogum Sogi is a posture to stand by placing the back of the foot blade in the crook behind the supporting knee. The knees should face forward. These are the four key moves of Ilyo Pumse. We will now look at the moves in succession, connecting each move. The key moves of Ilyo first part consist of when Sona Kodoromaki, Oren Jirigi, Kumgang Maki, When Sona Kodoromaki, Oren Jirigi, and When Pyonsongkut Sewa Jirigi. When connecting from Sona Kodoromaki to Jirigi during Ilyo first part, Pull the fist of the assisting arm to the back, then perform Jirigi. Perform Gumgang Maki slowly, exerting force on the lower abdomen. Run and set with the right foot. The right foot should set first and touch the ground. Then, complete Pyonsongkut Sewo Jirigi the moment the back of the left foot blade touches the crook behind the right knee. 
The back of the hind foot blade stops momentum by touching the crook and transfers the force to the tip of the hands. We will now connect these moves in succession. The key moves of Ilyo's second part consist of Wen Wesantu Yopchagi, Okoro Orgumaki, Oren Jirigi, Gumgang Maki. Wen Sona Goduromaki, Oren Jirigi, and Oren Pyonsongkut Sewo Jirigi. When Wesantur Yopchagi starts with both arms crossing in front of the chest in the Ogunsogi posture. Your left and right arms are crossed from the inside and outside respectively. Your right arm performs Olgul Bakadmaki. The left arm draws a circle outward like you're performing Mechumok Bakadchigi. Then, perform Yopchagi with the left leg and arm positioned parallel. When performing Okuro Olgumaki, Cross both arms diagonally from the right back and block upward. Cross the arms diagonally and block upward with the right arm on top of the left arm. When blocking, the wrists should be crossed diagonally with the left arm on the outside and right arm on the inside. Open your hands. Twist your right hand inward and your left hand outward so the bottom part of your wrists touch each other. Then, pull and thrust or twist an opponent's wrist. Pull the assisting fist to the back during Sona Godoromaki, then connect to Jirigi. Run and set with the right foot, and when performing Godoro Oren Pyonsongkut Sewo Jirigi, the right foot should set first and touch the ground. Then complete Pyonsongkut Sewo Jirigi the moment the back of the left foot blade touches the crook behind the knee. Cautions for Ilyo second part. Taking a closer look. The tip of the open hand used during Godoro Pyonsongkut Sewo Jirigi is the left for Ilyo first part and the right for Ilyo second part. Remember that all moves of Ilyo Pumse must naturally connect. We will now practice the moves of Ilyo's second part in succession while watching the video. <coughs> the key moves of Ilyo's third part consist of when Wesantu Yopchagi, Okoro Orgulmaki, Orun Jirigi, Gungan Maki. And Dujumok Hori. Some of the moves from Ilyo second part are repeated in Ilyo third part. Be mindful of the previous explanations and practice the Wesantu Yopchagi again. Start with the arm crossing in front of the chest at the Ogum Sogi posture. Your left and right arms are crossed from the inside and outside respectively. Your right arm performs Olgul Bakatmaki. Your left arm draws a circle outward as if to perform Mejumok Bakatchigi. Then perform Yoptagi with a left leg and arm parallel. The following move is also performed as explained in Ilyo second part. When performing Okoro Orgulmaki, cross both arms diagonally from right back and block upward. Cross the wrists diagonally in front of the forehead. When blocking, cross the wrists with the left arm outside and the right arm inside. Just like Dusonpyo Pitoro Japa Tangigi. Open the hands and twist your right hand inward and your left hand outward so the bottom part of your wrist touch each other to pull an opponent's wrist and thrust or twist their wrist. 
when performing Dujumok Hori, move your center with your right foot. Then turn 90 degrees to the left using the right ball of your foot as an axis. Next, slowly straighten the body and pull the fists next to the back on both sides. Cautions for Ilyo third part. Taking a closer look. When assuming the Duchumok Hori posture, be careful not to cross the arms or perform the move after straightening the arm forward. We will now practice the moves of Ilyo third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Ilyo fourth part consist of Oren Aptagi, Wen Tyo Yoptagi, Okoro Orgul Maki, Oren Chirigi, Gumgang Maki. Tu Chumok Hori, Wen Aptagi, Oren Tyo Yoptagi, and Okoro Orgul Maki. Ilyo fourth part starts from the last move of Ilyo third part, the Duju Mok Hori posture with the feet gathered together. Perform Oren Aptagi from this position. Be careful not to lift the left heel when kicking. We will now watch the connection from the previous Duju Mok Hori posture to the first move of Ilyo fourth part. After completing the Oren Aptagi, connect to the Wen Dio Yopchagi. Lift your body by pulling your left knee above your back the moment your foot touches the ground. Gather your feet, then perform Dio Yopchagi with your left foot. Pull the right leg toward the left knee and let it touch. Afterwards, Okoro Okumaki and Dusompyo Pittoro Jabatangigi, the key moves of Ilyo, are repeated once more. Perform these moves remembering what we learned earlier. Then perform Gumgang Maki again, slowly exerting some force into it. Next, move your center to your right foot. Turn 90 degrees to the left using your right ball as an axis. Slowly straighten your body, pull your fists to the back on both sides, and connect to Duchumok Hori posture. Continue with Wen Aptagi. Lift your body by pulling your right knee above your back the moment your left foot touches the ground. Gather your feet. Then perform Dio Yopchagi with your right foot. As with Wen Dio Yopchagi, pull the left leg toward the right knee and let it touch. Cautions for Ilyo fourth part, taking a closer look. When assuming the Duju Mok Hori posture, be careful not to cross the arms or perform the move after straightening the arm forward. When performing Okoromaki, Remember that the arm on the side of the set foot must be on the outside. We will now practice the moves of Ilyo fourth part in succession while watching the video. This concludes the training for Ilyo Pumse. We will take another look at all the moves and master Pumse.
we have looked at the key moves of Ilyo Pumse and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. You did a fine job reaching the last section of the Pumse, the last stage of Taekwondo training. Cherish the feeling of this moment and continue with your training. You will learn to be able to perfect all the postures and moves. We again commend you for a job well done.